everybody, Rob here to do a, uh, another update. Um, got a couple packages in uh, the last week or so since my last update. Um, and a lot of other little stuff I picked up. Um, I'm going to start with the stuff I got from uh, uh, this is Retroactive and I think Boons. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, Bones, a uh, brutal planet, but anyway, it's off of uh, bonesoverstock.com uh, where you get a lot of no light to metal and, and rocks record stuff, too. Although they have their own website now, thank god. But anyway, first is one I've been highly anticipating, and that is uh, oh, I left the CD downstairs, but um, Deliverance's uh, demo, Greeting of Death. Um, this is the sticker. The CD looks just like that. Uh, yeah, it looks just like that. I left it downstairs, but I got the CD. I bought the bundle, which I don't normally do that, but uh, the CD had bonus tracks. I don't think the album had bonus tracks. Um, anyway, there's the sticker. Always love stickers. Something I just don't buy anymore, and that's cassettes. But the bundle came with the cassette. And considering there's only a hundred of hundred of them made, I figured I'd just grab the bundle. <clears throat> and uh, I will never I'll, I'll never open it. It'll just be sealed. It's on black. Silver. This is the original demo. Looks just like the original demo. I mean spot on, aside from different labels. Um, doesn't have the just has the original six tracks on this one. Doesn't have the bonus. The album. And the CD do, which I can't share the CD of downstairs, and I don't care. Anyway, <clears throat> there is the the album. A little bit different, you know. It has more more uh, more art added to it. Uh, you know, Scott Waters did this, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is Retroactive Records. I was right. Okay. Again, just fantastic to have on vinyl for the first time. SCD for the first time. Um, not much to the inner. I mean, the only 180 gram. This hasn't been played yet. I hate those paper sleeves. There's the one side, pretty cool looking. And then the other side. Um, no inner. Um, I guess I kept it to the demo style. And it's very pixelated, which I like to. You probably can't see it on camera. But it's very pixelated, which is cool, like the original. Um, the, only, the only downside is if you buy this album on its own, it is, I think, 30 bucks. And I think that's a little much, considering there's not much into it. I mean, yeah, of course, it's a uh, first time on vinyl, all that good stuff. But still, for 30 bucks. I have to double check my math, I'm pretty sure that's what it would have been. So I just bought the whole bundle. I got the CD downstairs, so I'm sorry. Uh, next is the first time on vinyl as well, and that's Heretic. A little pin. I love these square album pins. They're just so cool. It just reminds me of an album, so. And that's a time of crisis. First time on vinyl. And this also features Glenn Rogers of uh, Deliverance on guitar. Again, this is done by Scott, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is on Brutal Planet Records. Now this one, your typical <laughs> 80s style band collage. Yep. Patches and picks and the top of the picture is really cool. Readable lyrics. And this just comes on black vinyl as well as uh, the uh, deliverance <sighs> comes up black vinyl. Whew. All right, now we're getting into some new stuff. Uh, for, this is the first one I have on vinyl. I've never been a really big fan of his, but uh, I've been try I've been listening to some stuff, and I can see the guitar work, and that's what I'm mainly in it for. I got this fairly cheap, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And that's Rory Gallagher, live. And I think this is from 73, 72. 
Yeah, from 1972. So yeah, it's it's got a lot of ring wear and you know work. Looks like it's got the pasted. But yeah, it does have the pasted back where it's pasted onto the back instead of part of the back. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna you know really like go full bore into it. Polydor. Nothing fancy, no inner on that. But you can tell it's the original paper. <laughs> Nothing fancy in this one, no no grails or anything. Uh, and that's is H S A S. Um, Hagar Shown, I always forget. Through the fire, I'm sorry, through the fire. Hagar Shown, Aronson, and Shreve. Neil Schoen and Sammy Hagar, the two know. This is actually a really good album. I, I wish they would have done more. Uh, yep. Oh shit, I'm just throwing shit around again. Can I have the... There's the inner. That inner almost looks like it was never even touched. Got a little bit of, of album show, you know, ring there, but it looks like that's probably initially things still clean as could be. I think they're doing a lover boy impression there. But it's a really good album. I, I've always enjoyed it. I don't know if I showed the back or not. And it's just black vinyl, so I'm, not, I'm just gonna handle it this way. I'm get for nothing fancy. Uh, next is a reissue of Jaguar's Power Games. I can't recall if I have the. Uh, I don't have the color of this vinyl. Uh, I, do, I may have the original. I, I, I have one of their albums on vinyl, right? And I don't remember. And I can't find it at the moment. Uh, Power Games. Um, it's good. Hard rock, metal. Um, first time vinyl reissue. They call it New Wave. I, I don't really see it as New Wave. Uh, green, and, green and Brown Camo Vinyl Edition, limited to 700 copies. Uh, the main reason that I picked it up was because of the, the damn vinyl, which is kind of cool looking. No inner, straight up what it is. And it comes on this green and brown camo. I'm not sure it's camo, but it was cool to look at. So, anyway, I thought it was. Yeah, it's a good band, underrated band. Um, so. Now, uh, one I've been looking for, I have the U.S. Press one, and this is the uh, Music for Nations one, and this is a wasp animal, a fuck like a beast. Um, side one, fuck like a beast, B, show no mercy. Uh, this is the Music for Nations version. And it's, uh, it's black vinyl, so I'm just going to show you the label. The Music for Nations, Music for Nations. I always have that label, it's just hard to come by here. As you know, Cloudy Milder loves that. All right. So, I'm just gonna show you this right before I tear it open. Um, this is possibly the cleanest version of the Queen Drake EP I've seen in a long, long time. I thought mine was clean, but this is still in the shrink. It's the EMI version, it's not the 206 version, unfortunately. I haven't found a good copy of that yet. That was reasonable. But it's still in the original shrink, I'm going to take it off. Everybody have a heart attack? I mean, except for the edge where the, the album came out, it's a little rough, you know, a little rough there. That's the only damage on this thing. This thing looks brand new. Look at that gloss still. It looks, I mean, almost unplayed. I mean, look how shiny that vinyl still is. Back. It, it, uh, yeah, it looks brand new. There's that cool find. That's going to replace my one I thought was really good. Unless it's a completely different press, that I don't know, but I doubt it. Uh, next is a OG copy of Riot Fire Down Under, 
one of those bands that just went underrated in my opinion. Uh, they should have been much bigger than they were. Kind of like Priest had a, a different sound per decade. Um, and they started out as that hard rock stuff, hard rock style, and then they uh, progressed into the metal, power metal, and they're still doing it today. Uh, a little bit of bluesy in the middle there with Red Foster on vocals. Um, so they had a little bit of bluesy vibe as well in there. But great band. I don't find a lot of their old stuff, especially the OGs that looked as great. I mean, that looks new as well. Well taken care of. I'm going to assume it's from the same guy because they were back to back. And then black vinyl on the original Electro label. Is that 81 or 82? 1981. Alrighty. Now, I found these two, which these are rarely ever in great shape. And these are, I mean, a little ring wear, but other than that, awesome shape Coney hatch. Out of hand, I think it's called out of hand, right? This is the out of hand, yeah. Out of hand, although they spell it one T. That's not how I spell it. Tony Hatch. Another underrated band. Um, if you guys ever see Coney Hatch, pick it up. It's that good uh, early 80s hard rock, um, a little bit of it, AOR hard rock, I call it. Uh, sometimes virgin on a little bit of metal as they progress. Um, you can see the early pretty boy look. Looks like Dave Minicky right there, don't it? Um, and I think this is a, oh man, a U.S. press. Uh, black vinyl again, so I'm not going to rip it out of the thing. And a lot of these, like I said, just cool little finds all in one. Uh, well, was there an inner? I don't know if there was an inner for that or not. I don't think so because it's 83. And their best album in my mind, and that's Friction, Coney Hatch. There's your typical 80s, mid 80s uh, <laughs> picture of a band. Everybody looking like they're lost. Where are we going? Um, 1985, 84, 85. I'm better with dates than I am album names. And there is inner to this one. And again, looks very good for being that old, you know. Coney Hatch, seriously, if you ever see their stuff, pick it up. You can usually find it for uh, four to eight bucks. And again, another great album, a little bit of ring wear, but that's cool, that doesn't bother. And of course the vinyl. And lastly, finally I was able to pick up an album by Bullet on vinyl. Their stuff is hard to get in the States because there was no, they don't have a U.S. distributor. I can't even get this out of here. Alright, so, and this is an interesting copy too. Why do you ask? Well, as you can see, it's still in the shrink, and the stickers aren't in the shrink. The stickers are actually stuck to the album, which I don't know if that's how they originally came or not. Uh, this is pretty limited press. This press is, uh, I think, limited to, I think, five, oh god, I need, I need a drink. <laughs> I love me some tacos. Anyway, get back to the album. Um, it is a gatefold. Oh, looks more like candle mass, <laughs> but it is bullet. Uh, this album is selling around 40 bucks. I got it for half of that. Um, single vinyl. Just checking the inside for any. Uh, this is only press, pressed in, I think, Black Lodge, I think, I think Sweden, I think they're Swedish, I can't remember offhand. But, 
But anyway, this is the press that has 500 copies. The first 500 copies came with... It's a tour date on there. Came with this cool little item, and it was actually in there. So it makes it even better that I scored it for half of what it's going for. Though I personally will never use it. It comes with the album back patch. <laughs> How cool is that? And these are used, I'm surprised it was still in there, but very cool. It even has its own sleeve as well. So I'll put that back in there. One second guys. And that'll just go back with the album. That was pretty cool. I mean, find that with that. And then your out typical band cover. Uh, look collage, although it's from like 2013 or 12. Lyrics, barely readable. I don't know if the vinyl, I can, the vinyl is colored. No, it's not. And black vinyl. Couldn't remember, so I was so caught up in the back patch that they still had it. But. There you go, guys. That's that's my uh, recent update. Um, trying to do these a little bit quicker so I don't have 30 minute videos. 17 minutes is, about, is good. But, uh, thank you for watching. 